to what degree of success remains to be seen. He's strong, we know that. And there's a flash left hand. It is a knockdown. First time that Marvin Hagler has ever been knocked off his feet. He's not happy about it. Let's catch it and see if it's a slip or, or just what it was. Well, as you see, it was a kind of a push and a pull. He landed the punch high on Hagler's head and pulled him down. Hagler is a little off balance here. High on Hagler's head and pulled him down. Hagler is a little off balance here. That is the key for Hagler, to keep his composure, to keep cool, to not let this guy's style frustrate him. Hagler going downstairs. That's the first time Marvin Hagler has been down either as an amateur or a professional. And a lot of times the uh, southpaw can't get out of the way of it. Marvin Hagler, a very smart fighter in the ring. And he may take some time to find his opponent. That was a good short right hand by Hagler. I started to say, despite the fact that Hagler has an impressive knockout record, he's not a guy who's going to want to get in there and bang with you particularly. That's another good punch by Rodin. Tito Alba interpreting for Tito Lectore and the rest of the corner people for Juan Domingo Rodin. So we will have that, and it definitely will add another image. There's a right hand got in. Heavy-handed punches here for Juan Domingo Rodin, and he is exactly as advertised. He's a little bit wild and a little bit out of control, but he can hit. More kinds of punches in this fight than I've seen him throw before. And another thing, bro, he's able to throw those type of punches for at least a good 10 rounds. Hagler came back with about three punches in a row, but he took a chopping right hand, and I think Hagler got the worst of it. That's another good right hand. Rodin going to that right hand lead. You know, Rodin has been throwing punches, but let's see the reaction when he gets hit, hit by one of Hagler's shots. That was on the gloves. And that was a good right hand by Hagler. And there was a good right hand by Roldan. Both men were shook. Let's watch Roldan in this round, which was probably a better round for him than the first round. A good, clean uppercut. And Hagler for getting much the best of that. I'll tell you, every time Roldan scores, good counter punching right hand by Hagler. Discretion being the better part of Valor. See, Marvin now is starting to run into uh, Rodin. He's starting to get his timing, but then again, he's being hit by those bombs. He is getting hit. There's no question about it. You see, Marvin's finding it very difficult to really get this guy in a, in a stationary position to land some shots. Actually, Rodin scored with a counter punching right hand that time. He's not usually the counter puncher. Watch what happens when Marvin starts throwing his punches. He starts to put his feet together because he's got And Rodin hurt, was hurt by Hagler there. He's down between the ropes. And the left eye. It is closed. Let's take a look here. Hagler goes after him. Again, that was not a clean knockdown. He, he knocked him back into the ropes. Rodin was going away from him and sort of just slipped off balance. There is the punch that apparently hurt his eye. Uh, suddenly you see Rodin is trying to cover up. Let's take a look here. Hagler goes after him. Every punch that he possibly can. I'm Still. sure his vision is a little blurred. And what Hagler should probably do is move more so to his left. We're going to try to get another look to see just exactly what happened. Larry Burchard will talk about that between rounds here. Normally when something like this occurs, uh, when a guy becomes handicapped, his vision is blurred, because of his experience, he can deal with it. Like myself and Tom Hearns fight. I looks really bad. And now that, that the, uh, the left hook, because Marvin became orthodox now. I trust Marvin will go to the orthodox style much more often. Also a cut on the bridge of the nose. And if there is a next time in this fight between these two men, you have to think that Marvin Hagler is going to have a great deal of respect for Juan Domingo Rodin. It also makes you more so aware that your chances are slimmer. Um, I feel that, a, uh, once again, an experienced fighter, he knows exactly how to deal with that situation. Rodin taking punishment on the eye, being given Marvin Hagler virtually at will. 
That's a good right hand by Hagler. That one he could have seen. Let's take a look at one of those right hands. It was a leaping right hand. It's the fact that Hagler is somewhat a little fatigued himself because he had to withstand the barrage of punches thrown by Rodin. Counter punching left hand by Hagler, the best punch of that exchange. Rodin still scoring with those punches, even though he is essentially a one eyed fighter. Shot once more, and Rodan just not able to see the punches coming. Tito Alba, who was interpreting in Juan Domingo Rodan's corner, even when we are not hearing him, says that he heard conversation in the corner, Ray, from Rodan saying that he can't see, period. Because if, the, if since, since that's the case, I think it was a trauma of the punch, whether it was, was a thumb and it had to be a thumb in order to get into the eye that affect his vision. Marlinson of this guy, lay on him. If that's the case with this vision, Mom should box him. You notice the way that Rodan digs to the body, puts everything behind it. That was a good right hand by Rodan right there. Not the glove itself. Well, I think the fact that the eye is okay, as you heard Tito Alba interpret from the corner, is purely a subjective opinion. I think if you ask Juan Rodan that, you might get a different answer. but he took two and returned to the champion. First round, he's gone. There's a, a punch that grazed the chin of Hagler. Well, Dad just kind of waiting, trying to score with the one big punch. That's about all he can do, I guess, at this point. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, break. Eye or no eye? Yeah, he really is. Mm -hmm. It's really overworked mm -hmm. to say that he's dead game. Mm -hmm. But in fact, he's dead game. And he's really picking the pace up here. And of course, Hagler. I think the reason Marvin will know is he's been in a fight because this guy can punch. He's very aggressive, tenacious, and he's in there. He's not giving up. It's not to take anything away from Marvin Hagler. I mean, Hagler has solved the style of Roll Dam. He is getting much the best of it. left hand still got some pop in his punches not trying to do too much just taking advantage of the situation you have to take notice of what Rodan is doing he's making it quite difficult for Hagler Rodan delivers the strongest and most powerful right up cut I've seen thrown by any fighter you see there, Barry, the way he moved his head. And that had to be pure instinct, because as you said, he's not seeing him coming. Rodan giving more than he's getting right at the moment. Again, the, the head movement of Rodan is making Hagler miss a lot. Rodan down very low and then coming up with his punches, doing a really good job of it. And Rodin's still making Hagler miss. Especially by being handicapped in the condition of Rodin. There was a right hand, and Juan Domingo Rodin goes down. And let's see if he wants to get up. He was hit on the eye also. And I think he's saying no more. That's it. In fact, we see him here with that right jab, and all of a sudden, the left hand comes behind and the right hand follows. It's a series of combinations that was able to send Rodan to the canvas. Right on the eye, and I don't think there was any question, but I'm surprised, frankly, that he got up at all, to tell well, you the truth. Well, the round prior to this, Rodan didn't want to fight anymore. He was completely discouraged, and um, I think that was a sign that he was through there was any question, but I'm surprised, frankly, that he got up at all, to tell well, you the truth. Well, the round prior to this, Rodin didn't want to fight anymore. He was completely discouraged, and um, I think that was a sign that he was through, especially by being handicapped in the condition of Rodin. There was a right hand, and Juan Domingo Rodin goes down. And let's see if he wants to get up. 
he was hit on the eye also. And I think he's saying no more. That's it.